Hey guys, welcome to the game Blended, a simple, fun, all-in-one party game for three to six players. This is a game that takes about a half an hour to play and is for ages 14 and up. And in the game Blended, you're gonna be basically playing well, a blend of many of your most favorite party games. There is going to be a large deck of these cards here. These are mini game cards that you'll be drawing from and playing and then determining who you are playing with or against. There's going to be competitive games, cooperative games, and even unique games that change the rules of the game or have us do something instantly quick, like throw a blender at somebody or have everybody put their hands up. Uh, this is a game all about trying to get as much money as you can. If you can hit 25 blend dollars before anybody else, you win the game. Let's talk about the setup, how to play, and then of course, what I think of the game. Setting up the game is actually quite simple. The first thing you do is you take out the blended cards, shuffle them, and then place them into three different decks. Then take the play cards, shuffle those guys, and place them next to the three decks. Set aside the blend dollars, as well as the small playing boards and the writing utensils, as well as the large playing boards. Then give each player five play cards them five dollars and a small mini writing board. After everybody has those, well, that's it. That's all you gotta do. Yeah, it's, it's a really simple setup. And just when you thought the setup was easy, the how to play is also quite easy. Basically, the first player, the player who bought the game, is the player who's going to start. They're going to choose one of the mini game cards from the top of the decks, and they're going to then read it. Uh, this card could be a green card, it could be yellow, it could be red, cooperative, competitive, some unique type of style of game, or it could even be something as simple as raising your hands or throwing a card at somebody. You're going to read that card, and some of them are going to be kept to yourself. Uh, in this case here, this is going to be a green one. I'm going to keep this card, select one of my play cards, and then place it down, uh, thusly explaining who I'm playing the game with. This one says I'm playing with the youngest player, so I'm going to play with the youngest player at the table, and I am going to do something called shuffled songs. I'll pick a song to hum, and then I'm going to go ahead and hum that song. If they can guess the entire song in its entire wording, uh, then I will score one, two, or three of the blend dollars. I can choose a more difficult song like Fireball or a simple one like Jingle Bells, depending on how many points or how much blend dollars I want to score. So these are ways in which we can work together to gain blend dollars. Uh, after I've played my play card and I have played my, uh, my uh, mini game card, I will go ahead and put them in the discard piles. Then the next player is going to get a chance to go. They're going to go ahead and draw a card from the deck and they're going to read it. This one is actually hands up, this is a robbery card. It says basically you'll drop this down, you'll say hands up, this is a robbery, and you'll throw your hands up. Then every other player will do the same. The last player to not put their hands up is going to give you two of the blend dollars. Um, and in that case, you wouldn't actually have to play one of your play cards. And it would just pass to the next player. The next player would go ahead and draw a card. Let me be your ruler. Here's the thing. Make a new rule for every player to follow. And the first person to break the rule is going to pay you some money. And then, well, again, they wouldn't have to actually play one of these cards. The next player would draw a card. Ah, a fruity smoothie. In this one here, you write a word in each category, starting with the initial of the player to your right. So if I am playing with Callie, she's on my right, I'm going to be, uh, she's going to be challenging me, in which case, uh, or let's say that she draws the card, I'm to her right, I, I would be Michael, and uh, we're each going to write an animal, a city, uh, some winter clothes, a dessert, and a movie with the letter M. It has to start with the letter M. And we're going to use these big boards here. And basically, whoever writes all of the categories down with each of the words that start with the letter M is going to win. At the bottom of each of these cards is going to be a timer as well, indicating how long you have to complete the challenge, and the loser is going to pay the winner $2. If time runs out, we'll check to see who has the most, and if it's a tie, nobody wins. Um, always remember that when you get one of these type of cards, you're going to basically choose one of these play cards, and uh, you're going to play it to determine who you are playing against. But yeah, that's the game. You just keep going. Exploding Blender. I'm going to throw this at somebody. Then after I throw it at them, they're going to have to try and cover it with something called a blender lid. And if they don't, in three seconds, they explode, and they're going to give you three of the blend dollars. 
Um, and they're all, all kinds of games. Here's a game called Scrambled, in which within these letters, form as many words as you can. And we'll place this down, and we challenge each other to try and make the most words utilizing these big boards here and these pens. And whoever has the most is going to score two. And then, of course, if you have the longest, you will score one. And there are a ton of different games in here. Let again, more of these smoo food, fruity smoothies. Here's one where every player uh, gets a free play card from the deck and just simply draw a new one. Hands up, it's a robbery. How about the blend -a wing This is going to allow you to choose a word to draw. So we're playing actually a type of Pictionary style game. And the person who I've chosen with my play card is the person who's going to then decide uh, what it is. And hopefully they can guess it within the time allotment. And yeah, this game just has tons and tons of mini games. And they all range in a bunch of different variations. But the objective of the game is as soon as somebody gets $25, they win. However, if no one has money and you're the only person who has money, then you win. And after five rounds, if nobody's ever gotten $25 or no victory condition has been met, the player with the most money is the winner. And that's blended for you. Blended is a party game. It's a mini game party game that plays a lot like a game called Cranium. Cranium is a game in which there's different categories. Each category has a mini game and you'll basically perform that specific category's mini game based on the cards or whatever it is that it has you do. Maybe you're gonna make something out of clay or maybe you're gonna guess a riddle or hum a tune. And this basically does that, but it has even more mini games. It has even more different variations on different types of games. You could be playing a cooperative game involving players trying to guess what you are drawing or guess what you are humming. Uh, or you could play a competitive game where players are going to try and outrace each other to guess the words that are um, designed on the card or the ability to create as many words as possible with the letters that have been given to you. Or it'll be some unique game like playing uh, the prisoner's dilemma on a card and bas basically using your blend dollars to do so. It could be a game where everybody plays putting a dollar in and trying to vie and bet for whoever has the best luck at whatever it is they're trying to do. Um, and then of course there are instant games. Games like hands up don't shoot, throwing the blender, trying to score as many points as possible. You're trying to get these, these, these blend dollars and if you can get those 25 you win. It's an all out party game of war and mini games utilizing your play cards. It's, it's a fun frantic type game. Uh, what I love about this game too is that the play cards not only dictate who you're going to play with and you kind of have an option as to who you play with, but additionally on the bottom of these cards, or at least some of them, is going to be unique actions. I could play the can't touch this to protect myself from giving um, from a give me your money card. Or in fact, I can have this blender lid that protects me from the exploding blenders. Or maybe I want to get out of prison free because there are certain cards that can put you in prison, meaning you cannot take a turn this round unless you pay a certain amount of blend dollars or if you use the card. Uh, there are all additionally other cards in here that will allow you to do different things um, and utilize cards in different ways. And then of course, the mini games. Each of these mini games are fun and there might be ones that you might not enjoy and there might be ones that you do enjoy, but there is a variety of different types of games for different types of players. And typically, players are only really gonna play with you if they think that you're either A, bad at a competitive game, or B, really good at a cooperative game. And so there is some kind of like delineation as to who's gonna be playing with what and how you're gonna be trying to make your money. Of course, players that are closer to their goal of $25 will probably not be played with as much cooperatively, but you're gonna have that opportunity to play against them competitively to take their money, to drag them down. That being said, they can also steal that money from you and thusly win the game in that way. Each of the games has a time limit, and so you have to use a phone or a watch or uh, something on your computer in order to calculate the time there, but everything else is provided for you. The quality of the cards are excellent, and I love the graphic design on all of them. It's very easy to understand this game, being able to draw a card. Ah, uh, this is a red one. It's competitive. This one here is about trying to write different words based on the initial or the letter of the person on your left or whatever. And I'm going to be able to choose who I want to play this with and how many points I can score based on how well I do. And it's, it's just a game that has a lot to offer. Everything is pretty much mapped out and straightforward for you. You're gonna be using these little mini boards on the occasion as well. Each player is gonna be getting one at the beginning of the game. And um, there are times when you use these big boards when you need to write lots of things as as well. Uh, these have dry erase markers here and these dollars are paper. My only one qualm, I wish they were plastic or just little chits. But otherwise, other than that, 
this game is a lot of fun. For those of you who enjoy party games, who like mini games, who like to do different things and have different interactions with players, that makes the game feel like King's Cup meets Cranium meets this cooperative competitive game about gathering blend dollars, then Blended is simply fun and for you. Overall, this is an excellent little party game. I enjoy it. I'll keep this around. I've already played it a few times and I'm looking forward to playing it again because I have a play group that's specifically set in mind for this type of a game and every time they come out, I'm sure they're going to want to play this again. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer video for Blended. If you're interested in picking up the game, there's a link down below in the description. This is such a fun little party game. Uh, unfilteredgamer.com, blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, and more. Go ahead and check that out. As well as, of course, the channel. If you're already here and you haven't, maybe you can consider subscribing. That's help us out, as well as, of course, the notification button. On our Sunday Night Live, it's 6.30 p.m. PST. We play games just like this one here all the time on the channel. And, of course, on Wednesdays, we do a whatnot stream where we play games and we also sell games. All right, guys, that's all I got for you this time. And, as always, I look forward to being blended with you next time.